What's going on everybody? It's June here and today I got a little vlog for the channel. If you're watching this, maybe you already have an idea of where this is going based on the title of the video. That being my dreams. I'm not really one to share my goals with others that aren't close to me. And I'm not even really one to post my feelings or the way I feel about certain things on social media but i figured for this video i wanted to be vulnerable and essentially make an entire video based on my dreams and where i'm at in life and where i'm trying to go and hopes that i can manifest all of that so that they can become a reality now by the time this video goes up i'll be 23 years old and so with that being said while that's still a really young age Personally, I can't shake the feeling that I'm running out of time. And I know that is a common thing that a lot of other 20 year olds out in the world have. I feel like I'm meant for so much more opposed to what I'm currently doing as a way to make ends meet. I'm blessed enough to still have the support of my parents so that way I can save up my money financially. But I don't want to be a dependent of them forever. You know, I want to be able to get out on my own and fend for myself as soon as possible. So lately I've kind of took a step back. I've been trying to analyze myself and where I'm at in life and where I'm trying to be and how I'm gonna get there. And I wanted to make this video journal to have a record of where I was and hopefully in the future, I'm at where I want to be. And there's no script to this video, so if my words are jumbled or if my thoughts are all over the place, I apologize. Um, I'm just speaking what's on my mind, speaking what's on my heart. So let's get into my dreams. I just get into the big dream, the big picture. And if you're watching this video, which I highly doubt, and if you're familiar with my previous channel, it's June, where I originally made skits now i'm doing animations it could have been obvious but my dream still to this day is to be a working actor i'm not talking about famous actor or you know somebody like will smith or none of them if that happens amazing i just want to be able to do what i love for a living and be able to take care of my family and then essentially create generational wealth. I, I love acting. I love everything that goes into it. I've always loved it as a kid, but as a kid, I was too shy and too reserved to even pursue that. Uh, and I've talked about it in other videos. Every time there was a school assignment where you had to get together with some friends and make a skit, make a video, I always made sure that my group was gonna have the best video. And even when we were filming, I was always having a time in my life. That was like a way for me to get out of my comfort zone and just let go and have fun. With acting and as a kid, I was afraid to look stupid unless I was around those who I was comfortable with. Of course, the older I got, I started to care less and less about what people thought of me. And then I think ultimately once junior, senior year rolled around in high school, that's when I was like, I don't care what anybody thinks. And I feel like that's a great trait to have. I'm not saying be closed-minded or just ignore everything. It's like I take into consideration what people say, um, but if you're not close to me, if you're not in my circle, if we're not friends, then whatever you say or think about me, I couldn't care less because you don't know me. So if, if somebody doesn't know me, why would I care about what they have to say about me? If it's something positive, great. Thank you. I appreciate it, truly. But if it's something negative, it's like, it is what it is. If that's how you feel, who am I to change that, you know? There's nothing I can do about that. And I'm not going to try and convince you. That's the big goal there. And now, like I said, I'm not afraid to look stupid. And with me having pursued acting for the past two years me pursuing it seriously i've had a plethora of auditions that i've done i'm blessed enough to have an agent blessed enough to have been able to take a few classes um have a demo reel made I, i'm blessed enough to have had one commercial that i appeared in in japan for gaming which is crazy like i had to show all my gaming setup for that commercial and it, it was a, an amazing experience i didn't go to japan it was all done through zoom but nonetheless it was really fun really great experience. 
So that's the ultimate goal is to be a working actor, working on TV shows, movies, being on Netflix, things like that, just for the love of it. And it's hard, it's hard to pursue acting at this point in life right now because one, acting is very expensive. It's very expensive, it's very time consuming. When you're working a retail job, I, I do get paid well considering it's retail, but from acting classes to to, to headshots, demo reels, time. You know, when you're working seven to nine hours almost every shift and you're working about 35 hours a week, I, it's part time. It's still time consuming. So it's hard to be able to get into a class and be able to say for sure, like, yes, I will be there. Like the class is already $500 then to have to dedicate the time where my work schedule is so inconsistent that makes it even more harder voice acting is also another part of that voice acting is more feasible because you can do that in the comfort of your own home and especially with the pandemic that has happened voice acting has become even more remote which is really cool and the pandemic has allowed me the opportunity to pursue that fully as i have showed in my recent video showcasing my voiceover booth. So acting and voice acting, I wanna do those simultaneously cause I enjoy both. It's expensive and it's time consuming. So that leads me to my next dream, YouTube. I've been doing YouTube since I was 11 years old. How do I know that? Because I still have my very first email address that was made specifically for my very first YouTube channel. And in the email was the number 11 because my sister made it for me. And that was to showcase my age. Of course, nobody would know that. But I've had so many YouTube channels from 2011 to now. You know, of course, my most successful YouTube channel to date is the one that I made when I was 14, but I didn't start uploading. No, I made it when I was 15, actually. My YouTube channel, Yours Truly. Um, there, I focused on 2K content. And even to this day, I've tried to go back over there and post in order to feed those who have supported me for so long, because I truly do appreciate the support. Um, we met, we gained 17,000 subs over there. Even now, there's still supporters commenting saying, come back or, you know, love the videos, woo, woo, woo. And I really appreciate it. And it's just like, ah. I just don't enjoy doing this anymore. Like I enjoy doing it, but there's nothing here for me. That's how I seen it. So like after doing yours truly from 2015 all the way up until 2020, of course me uploading bits and pieces of videos to this day, yours truly is a thing in the past for me. I'll always make a comeback on that channel here and there, but it's, it's not my main priority. As successful as it may have been, and I know there are people who look at me like, are you stupid? You had something going here, but it was always a hobby. I say it every time. That channel was nothing more than a hobby for me. I didn't care for the money. I did it because I enjoyed making videos. I wanted to be like my favorite inspirations, Chris Smoove, um, iPod King Carter, QJB, guys like them. I wanted to make videos like them. And that's what I did. And I completed that part of my life because it was a hobby. Like I said, if it was a goal to be a full time YouTuber with 2K, I would have did that. But I never cared for it. So that's why it was so easy for me to let it go. And in the summer of 2019, that's when I made the transition to skits and I uploaded skits on my Yours Truly channel. Of course, that wasn't taken well because it was a transition in content after doing one thing for four years. So that's when I made my channel. It's June. And I had planned to take that channel serious so that I can do that full time. I gained a thousand subs on that channel, building it from the ground up. It was fun. Like they were the best years in recent memory for me because it was just so fun. But, you know, after seeing that, of course, 200 videos later, the skits weren't gaining much attention aside from the loyal supporters on the channel. I was like, OK, I need to take a step back and look and see what's working and what's not. So then that's when I made the transition to animations because I already love to draw. That's another thing that I've recently gotten into. I was like, let me try animating because I see my, there's also favorite YouTubers of mine who animate as well and they're successful at it because now at this point, in order to get to pursue acting the way I want to, I started looking at YouTube like this. Look, man, I see people doing YouTube full time and they're making 
enough money to take care of themselves, their families, buy their own places, and be financially stable. So while YouTube making money isn't the sole purpose, I want to use YouTube as a stepping stone to help me pursue my acting goals because what it what is your life like if you have a full-time youtube channel based off of what i've seen looking from the outside in you create your own schedule if you can be successful it's gonna pay a lot more than your average job and if so and so can do it why can't i i feel like my content is just as good if not better than some of the full-time youtubers now and that's not my ego speaking that's just how confident I am in my content and all the years that I put into this, it, it definitely shows. Of course, that doesn't mean I deserve views or subscribers or anything like that, but I just wanna be able to use YouTube as a stepping stone because if I can become financially independent with YouTube and I can create my own schedule for when I wanna make content and I don't have to go in, cause if I'm going into work, it's gonna be from 12 to nine. That's your whole day, you know what I mean? So it's hard to really make anything happen in that span of time how can i make gaming videos from that time how can i leave time out to animate when both mediums take so much time and effort alone so that's why i say uh youtube doing youtube full time to use that as a stepping stone in order to become a working actor and voice actor and i know that was a lot i don't know this video is probably about 15 minutes once I chop it up and everything, but those are those are my goals in life right now. The ultimate goal is to be a working actor, but as of right now is to be a full-time YouTuber. And by the glory of God, I can make that happen. Like I said, at the time of this video going up, I'm gonna be 23 years old. I'm only getting older. It's about time for me to take control of my life and make this age the best age of my life ever, you know? So getting out of my shell, exploring, you know, going to more conventions and expos, uh, partaking in more acting classes and voice acting classes, go to a Laker game. Can I try and save up to go see LeBron play? How would it feel to be able to, how would it feel to have watched LeBron in my time and grow up and say, yeah, I've never seen him play live. There's there, there's so many other things, but this is just me being transparent. I'm, I'm still searching for my purpose in life, but I know that these are the things that I want to do and I can tell that it's not a phase. I truly love doing it. And if I can dedicate all day to perfecting my craft and the arts of acting and voice acting and creating content, I would, but it's difficult because you have to realize life is a thing too. There's also going to be other things you have to take care of that's going to deter you from where you're trying to go. So it's... I'm still figuring things out every day. Those are my dreams and I pray that I can make them happen. This video is for manifestation reasons and if you made it this far into the video, I hope that you was able to pluck some inspiration in order to keep going yourself to pursue what it is that you wanna pursue no matter what it is. That's all that it comes down to for me. I just wanna be able to take care of my family and. Make it so that anything that you want, I can get it for you so you can live your life easy. There's nobody in my family who has some extraordinary career path. Then I have family members who have some unique jobs too, which are cool, but it's nothing like where they're just making six figures or anything like that. So everybody in my family has worked hard for what they have. So when it comes down to taking the non-traditional route as far as the creative side of things, not everybody is going to really see your vision unless they do the same thing. So I want to be the first person in my entire family tree to do something different and make a career out of it. But we're taking it one step at a time. I'm definitely going to make my dreams a reality. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. This, I have so many channels, but I'm finally done making channels. Like it's just going to be this one for gaming and vlogs, then my animation channel. Um, and then I have an art channel, which I don't talk about. And then there's yours truly. So I have four channels technically, but I'm really only going to be active on two of them. Like consistently. So um, these are my dreams. Um, and I pray to God I'm able to make them happen because I'm going to do what I can. And I will update you guys along the way for this journey. That's why I plan to upload vlogs on this channel so I can show you the progress that i'm making uh, in terms of getting to where i want to be thank you so much for watching 
and I'll see y'all in the next video.